Look, I'm not a vegetarian. I eat meat. Yeah, but usually somebody else does this part. Might become a vegetarian after this experience. Hey guys, it's Carl. I'm here in the BA Test Kitchen today with Nina Dobrev from FAM CBS. And today we've got 20 minutes only to make a crispy skinned fish. We're gonna see if Nina can follow along with me through verbal instructions only. All right. How are you feeling about that? Uh, nervous and excited and um, nervous. All right, so on a count of three, we're gonna turn around and start cooking. Ready? One, two. Wait. Oh, gotta lose the shoe. I'm not <laughs> cooking in heels. All right, okay. on a count of three, we're gonna start cooking. Yes. One, two, three. Go. Ta-da. Ooh. All right, so the first thing you're gonna encounter is this big, beautiful red snapper. Yeah, I, you, I, I see do it. Do you like fish, Nina? I, uh, I do like eating fish. Great. I have a confession. Don't love seeing my food's face. Yeah, it does have a head and an eyeball, but we're just gonna ignore that part. So first thing I want you to do is you've got a rimmed um, baking sheet next to you, and I want you to pick up the little pair of red scissors on that tray. Got it. And so we're gonna fillet the fish, which means we're gonna take off this like the top fillet. There's a pair of gloves if you want to wear them. I'm probably not just because um, they kind of get in my way. But if you don't want to touch Mr. Fish, that's fine. I feel like I'm Dexter right now. You feel like you're Dexter? I'm Dexter. Yeah. So let me know when you have your gloves on and on. we'll get down to surgery. All right, I'm in. In order to get to this fillet that's on the top side of the fish, I just want to get all these little fins and fish feathers out of the way. So there's three that we're going to clip off. The first one being like right underneath the fish's um, jaw. Just go to the base of those and use your snippers to snip those off. And then you can just put those little fish fins uh, back on the tray that the scissors came from. Cool. Uh, the, yeah, yeah. Are you there? Did she leave? <laughs> she left. I'm She's considering like, nah, it. I'm, I'm not considering doing this. it. Okay. <laughs> and then once you've got that one off, we're going to go right underneath the belly. There's another set of fins, and it's easier if you cut kind of against the angle, but either way should work with these little sharp snippers. Got it. And then do the one that's at the underside of the belly. Am okay. I flipping to the other side? No, don't worry about the other side. We're just going to take off the top fillet. And then once you've got the little belly fins off, go back to the top, like the crown at the top of the spine. And Ooh. working, it'll be easier if you work from the tail end up towards the head. Zip that right off. How are you doing, Nina? I'm halfway down the dragon the tail. Oh, dragon tail. That's a good, that's I mean, a it's, good it's, description. It does look like that. Yeah, to me, they're like the little fish feathers. It's like the top of the chickens. All right, I'm done. OK, great. So he's gotten his little crew cut. And now I want you to pick up that knife that has the curved blade. And the first thing you're going to do is just find the spot on the fish where the head connects to the body, yep. OK? And we're going to make one long cut kind of on a diagonal. You want to angle the knife towards the fish's head and cut straight down to the jawline. And you want to go deep enough so that you actually feel yourself hit the backbone. So I'm cutting his I'm de decapitating him is what you're saying. Uh, you don't have to take the head totally off. Just go through the flesh until you feel yourself hit the spine in the center. OK, I think I'm done. OK, now go down to where it turns into the tail. Yep. And then just make a cut going vertically so we know where the fillet and the tail separate. Done. Cool. OK, now we're going to go back. And this is um, what we're going to do. In order to take the fillet off, you want to kind of keep the blade against the bones. So you're going to go back up to the head right at the top where the two sides of the fish come together and meet, that's where you're gonna put your knife in. And then just drag the blade all the way down towards that cut that you made in the tail. Now, you're just gonna keep going deeper, like following that same cut that you made. Oh, I get it. You know it what like I mean? It almost starts to peel off naturally. Exactly. Once the filet is kind of peeled back, you can really see what's going on in there. I almost wish I didn't know what was going on underneath here. Do fish have hearts? Do fish have hearts? Yeah, they have hearts. Where's the heart? Uh, it's gone. This has already been gutted. He had a heart of gold, though. <laughs> Take your word for it. <laughs> so is your filet still attached to the body? Um, almost done. Almost done. My issue at this stage is near the, the neck part. Yeah. Oh, wait. 
I'm good. It, there's going to be, it's not completely even. The top of the fish fillet comes up like kind of on a curve, more towards the head. I've successfully removed the side of the body. I think I missed a giant chunk, which That's now okay. looks like a second fin that it never don't, wanted to have. Yeah, don't and worry about that. We didn't want that fin. I'm pretty sure I found its heart. Oh, what okay. So once your fillet is free, you can just put that whole fish with the head and the tail and the rest of the body back on that rim sheet tray. Okay, so now you're gonna notice that on the filet, there's sort of like the belly part, it's very kind of thin and floppy. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut that belly part off. So what you're left with is like the thicker part of the filet. Uh, sorry, uh, are we keeping the skinny part or the fat part? We're gonna keep the fat part, the main like part of the filet that can't, that is thicker, not the floppy bottom part that's like in the shape of a V almost. Okay, cut the V off. Yeah, just cut the V straight off, go all the way through the skin, and you can put that also on your rim sheet tray. I'm removing the the spine heart, this suspicious looking entity. Yeah, if you have a heart, we're going to leave that behind. Okay. This is not fish organ yakitori night. Right now it looks like it got hit by a truck, so I'm gonna take some liberties and manicure it. Yeah, the way that you would like to eat it, you can trim it that way. And then the next thing I need you to do is run your fingers along the part of the filet where you cut the thin part of the belly off. And if you feel any bones kind of sticking through the flesh, take those tweezers and just like you were tweezing your eyebrows, just pull those out. And I have a, definitely have a couple. Yeah, These are the, too. yeah. Along the side or just if they're sticking out through the front? Uh, wherever you feel a bone, just find the end of it and get in there and pull them out. All right, I think we're good. Okay, cool. Great. All right, there's a little oval tray right in front of you with a tiny piece of parchment. Put the fish over there, um, flush side up, and we can get rid of fish butchery. Very exciting. Cool. This part kind of made me feel like I'm in operation, the game. Yeah, a little bit of operation, for sure. All right, so you've got your little fish fillet on the oval platter. Bring that um, in front of you onto your cutting board. And then there's a bowl of salt and a bowl of oil right next to this cooker. Yep. So take the salt and season the flesh side, and then the pepper mill off the tray. Once okay. you've salt and peppered the flesh side, just turn it over. And I just am going to put salt on the skin side. Okay. It's gonna, is, there, is there a method behind that madness? So that yeah. I know when so I do this cook skin. at home every Tuesday night? Totally. We're going to start the fish, and it's going to stay skin side down oh, like 95% of the time. And I just don't want the pepper to um, burn. Yeah, that would be really, really, really bad if we yeah. put pepper on the skin. It would be terrible. It would ruin everything. Okay, so now take that incredibly tiny and adorable bowl of oil. Hypothetically. Yeah. Uh, like, I wouldn't do this, but <laughs> if, if somebody at home, if yeah. they were to put yeah. pepper on the back of it, Great. what would you recommend doing? I would recommend eating it that way, because I really like pepper. Great. In fact, great idea. I'm going to pepper my skin, because you gave me such a good idea. Awesome. Cool. Um, okay, so now you have a very cute and tiny bowl of oil. Just pour that right into the skillet. Okay. Is that one teaspoon? It's like a tablespoon. Okay. So now good, good, pick good. up your fish fillet and just put it into the pan in the oil and kind of like just rotate it into the skillet so that the oil kind of gets skin smushed side around. Down. Skin side down. Okay. All right. So this is a cold pan. We're going to cook it kind of low and slow, medium. What if we'd like it to be hot and quick? Well, it's... <laughs> that, Some of us don't have time for well, low and slow, you know? Well, the skin will curl. You can cook fish hot and fast, but then you get dry, overcooked fish that doesn't have crispy skin. No, we don't want it to be dry The either. choice is okay. yours. So hit that power button. Let's put that at 265 to start. And all of, already my oil is um, sizzling. It's so alive. Alive. We're gonna, has yours already like curled, curved up a little bit? Oh yeah, it's like fully coming to life. It's right? So it's like contracted and gotten like higher than it used to be. Yeah. So take the um, slotted spatula. Yep. Just press down on the fish on, on the flesh side and kind of get it to like smush back down. We want to push it flat because we actually want all of that fish skin to get nice and crispy. How long do I have to do this for? Just a few times until you feel like the filet is making contact with the pan, and it's kind of flattened out just a little bit. And then we're just gonna let it, well, now we're just gonna let it go. All right. Cool. Letting it go. All right, great. 
All right, now we're gonna make a whole lemon vinaigrette. Okay. Okay, so this whole lemon, we're gonna use the pith, the peel, and the flesh. All so right. the first thing I want you to do is take off the, the top and the bottom end, the little pointy ends. Top and bottom. Yep, until you can see down to the flesh of the lemon. Bye. Cool. We're good. And then stand it up. We're gonna work around, just cut from straight top to bottom to cut off one side. All the sides have to come off, right? Yeah, you're gonna go all the way around. Okay. And so at the end, you should be left with this little square of flesh. Got it. Okay, cool. And then take the um, bowl that's on your tray with the other ingredients, that core of the lemon, just squeeze the juice into the bowl. Can Does you this act as a disinfectant for little small cuts? Oh, uh, little tiny have? cuts? What do you do? Are you like working with a lot of paper? What's happening? <laughs> yeah, it's cold outside. My fingers are <laughs> cracking. All right, it's all liquid now and a bunch of, I got, I got little like, lemon guts in my hand now. Okay, great. Just toss that. You ha should have an extra bowl. Do I throw the little seeds too? Yeah, so tease out any seeds. <gasps> Wait, I'm can like, we make a lemon tree with the seeds? Isn't that how the circle tree? of life works? <laughs> should we keep yeah, these? Yeah, let's make a lemon. We have time. Let's make a <laughs> lemon tree. How's your fish doing, Nina? Uh, you know, it looks like it did a couple minutes ago, but a couple minutes have passed. So. And is it still sizzling? Do you feel like the oil and the skin where they're touching each other are, are making a sizzle? Yep. And just tease up one corner to kind of get a peek underneath. My edge is getting golden brown. Peekaboo. Golden brown? A little bit golden brown. A just little a bit. bit. A little bit. Okay. More like rose gold. Okay. If I had to rose be super oh, picky all right. About well, it. it was a red snapper. Let's go up to 280. Oh, wow. making it. Hot in here. <laughs> okay, so you have four pieces, you should have four pieces of lemon flesh and skin and like the whole thing. J uh, what I want you to do is just finely chop that lemon. Are we trying to chop it small, like yeah, dice it? Exactly. Can I use the big knife? Yes, you can use do whichever knife. Do I have to knife. do your method or can I just do what I do to make do it? Do what you do. Sweet. Finely, finely dice. And we're gonna use the whole thing. It just works for me going that way, but then you get these little cuts that have like peel, pith, and flesh. Are you still cutting? I am. I want to make a beach out of this lemon. I don't want it to be like Cabo Beach. I want it to be Caribbean <laughs> white. I want but to be it's able to okay lay to have this. like little tiny pieces of lemon. Okay, I think we're good. You're good? I don't know. We'll see later when you look at it. <laughs> All right, how's your fish? Let's check for crispy skins. It's opaque on one side of the edges. Okay. And then the middle's pink. So let's finish our sauce and then our fish will be done. There is a little bowl of chopped shallot. You can use one of these little spoons to just scrape the shallot right on top of the lemon. Is the lemon on the cutting board? Or no, you want to get the lemon from the cutting board into the bowl that had your lemon juice. And then add the uh, black sesame seeds. I love shallot, by the way. I do too. People are always refer to it as a fancy onion, but it it's is. just, it's a shallot. It's like a travel size onion though. And then there's a little bowl of toasted sesame oil. Which one's the sesame oil? Uh, it doesn't matter. They're all going in the same place. Oh, so just dump yeah, them in? Yeah, just get them all in. Boom. And then Boom. Oh, that's there's a that's measuring cup with that. olive oil. The honey goes in too? Honey goes in too. And then the oil. Now, what's the rule on um, licking your fingers when you're cooking? It is, is advised. That like a big no -no it's or? advised and encouraged. Oh, really? Yeah, sure. All right, what about this um, measuring cup? It's olive oil, so just add that whole thing into your shallot, lemon, sesame, sesame, honey mixture. Add the black pepper, like a bunch of cranks of black pepper into the dressing. And then that, going back to that kosher salt that was, that we used on the fish. Okay. I'm adding three big pinches. Okay, so three big pinches of the little salt. Yeah. I've always wanted to do this. Mm. Um, I just tasted mine. Not practical. And make sure when you taste it, you get a piece of lemon in there. Sassy. Woo. Ooh, that's good. I could just eat this alone. Right? Let's go back to our fish. Talk to me about what you're seeing on the flesh side. Flesh side is still pink. In the very middle yeah. or like the whole top? Uh, just like the middle top. Okay. Carefully turn it over. Oh, that makes sense. Now, do you feel like it's cooked through or do you want to peek at it? Oh, so soon? Mine was really only undercooked at the very top. Oh, yeah. It's white. Great. We're gonna platter it up. Oh, so, we're done? That was it? Yeah, that's it. <gasps> Grab your dinner plate. Using the large spoon from your tray, just spoon some of the dressing onto your plate. You wanna just lift up the fish so that it stays skin side up. 
The skin is the pretty side? Yeah. <laughs> it should, if there's something about this fish skin that is not pleasing to you, use your sauce as camouflage. And then just a little bit of flaky salt over the skin. Are you salted? No, I am. Do you feel like presentation time? Okay, okay now I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on three. One, two, three, go. Ta-da! <gasps> Gorgeous! Thank Your you. Your knife work is amazing. Yours okay. too. All right, let's switch plates, and then Hardly I get to have fair, yours. Though. Yeah, why? How come well, no, you get the one that's not as good? Then I get to tell people that you cooked for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I get to tell people that you cooked for me. <laughs> Can we do something super cheesy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. I am gonna make it at home. Fish skin's underrated. It's like the bacon of the sea. The next time I come, because I, whether you've invited me or not, I'm I inviting like myself. I'd back. like to come back. <laughs> and I'd like you to teach me how to make something super complicated, okay. like pork chops. Okay, I have a good recipe for pork chops. Okay. But we're not gonna start with the whole pig, if that's okay. No, 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 I want the whole pig. <laughs>